Frank Sheeran would be the main character in Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. He has lived an eventful life, he must have done, seeing as though it's his story that brought Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci back after 22 years. So what is it about the man that warrants a $120 million film being made about his life? Sheeran was born in Derby, Pennsylvania in 1920. He enlisted in the US Army at the age of 21, where he grew to the towering height of 6 foot 4 inches. In total, Sheeran served 411 days of combat duty, bearing in mind the average is 100. Notable campaigns he served in included the invasion of Sicily, the landings in southern France, the Battle of the Bulge and the invasion of Germany. Sheeran would later state that his experience during war made him indifferent to killing and the taking of human life. He claimed he took part in many illegal massacres and executions, which he split into four categories. The first were revenge killings in the midst of a battle. If a German were to have killed a friend of Sheeran's and then attempted to surrender, Sheeran would, as he stated, send him to hell too. Sheeran also stated that this was a common practice in the US military. The second were those from unit commanders during a mission. He used this as a comparative when discussing his first murder for the Mafia later in his life, saying, It was just like when an officer would tell you to take a couple of German prisoners back behind the line and for you to hurry back. You did what you had to do. The third was the infamous Dachau massacre and several other killings of concentration camp guards, and the fourth were intentional attempts at degrading German prisoners of war. One such incident he described was when his unit came across an enemy mule train carrying food and drink whilst climbing the Haas Mountains. They captured the party, allowed the females to leave and ate what food they desired before urinating on the rest to stop any other German soldiers from benefiting from the food. They then ordered the mule drivers to dig graves for themselves before shooting them without hesitation and burying them in the graves. I had no hesitation in doing what I had to do, Sheeran said about the incident. Frank Sheeran was discharged from the military on October 24th, 1945. Returning to the US, officially his new line of work was a trucker. Unofficially, Frank Sheeran was making money by committing crimes, most notably committing murder for the right price. His notoriety as a hitman got him noticed by significant figures in the criminal underworld, including two men who would serve as close friends to Sheeran in his life, Russell Buffalino and Angela Bruno. Bruno was the head of the Philadelphia crime family and Buffalino the head of the Buffalino crime family, and it was the latter that would go on to be a mentor to Sheeran throughout most of his life. Buffalino had ties to the Teamsters Union president Jimmy Hoffa, and he set up Sheeran with Hoffa and thus Sheeran began a role as an official in the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. Sheeran and Hoffa grew close, and the latter used the Irishman for muscle work, including murdering rival union members and disloyal members of his own union. In fact, the first words Hoffa ever spoke to Sheeran were, I heard you paint houses, meaning, I heard you kill people for money. It is thought that Sheeran would go on to perform over 20 hits. When Sheeran had become an old man battling cancer in the new millennium, he made several startling revelations to his lawyer Charles Brandt. Brandt would later collate Sheeran's claims and write the best-selling crime book, I heard you paint houses. Sheeran had claimed to have intimate knowledge of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. He says that Hoffa wanted JFK dead because Kennedy's younger brother Robert was doing all he could to bring down the corrupt Hoffa. According to Sheeran, the assassination of President Kennedy was a mafia hit, and though he himself did not participate, three rifles did pass through his hands that may or may not have been eventually used in the assassination. He also claims that he was the one who murdered Jimmy Hoffa, who famously disappeared on July 30th, 1975. Sheeran was always a prime FBI suspect for the murder and as I stated in my video on Hoffa, Sheeran says he was ordered to kill the former Teamsters president by Buffalino and along with two other mobsters drove Hoffa to a house in Detroit where he shot him and later cremated his body. Sheeran knew full well that he could do the hit on his friend and be done with it or he could refuse the order and both he and Hoffa would be killed anyway. You did not say no to Buffalino. There are many other things which Sheeran claimed, including being part of the anti-Fidel Castro forces involved in the Bay of Pigs invasion, and some new information on the murder of Crazy Joe Gallo. He also claimed that a bribe was given to President Nixon to release Hoffa when he was sent to prison in the 60s, and he himself delivered the cash. 
It is thought that the reasoning behind Shirun's confessions were due to him seeking atonement for his sins, and the former hitman succumbed to his disease on December the 14th, 2003, dying at the age of 83 in a nursing home close to Philadelphia. I Heard You Paint Houses has been adapted into a screenplay by Steve Zelane called The Irishman, being directed by Martin Scorsese and starring Robert De Niro as the titular character. It is set to tell the story of Sheeran's younger days in the army, his prime as a mob hitman, and his later life filled with regret, a poor relationship with his daughter, and many other key elements which would make for a compelling picture. If you enjoyed this video, stay tuned as I plan to make several more on the other main characters who will be in The Irishman including mob bosses Russell Buffalino and Angelo Bruno. And if you haven't already, check out my Jimmy Hoffa video for a brief overview of his life, including his much-discussed disappearance. Thank you for watching.